Hey Capricorn, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your mid-February reading for love and career. If you've never been to my channel before, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to make it worth your time. And for those who have liked and subscribed to my videos, I have so much gratitude for you. Thank you so much. I see you and I appreciate you. All right, so listen to your bodies. If this resonates, claim the reading. Collaborate with my energy. Say hi, like. All the usual stuff. And uh, hit that notifications bell if you don't want to miss a reading in the future. Starting with career for Capricorn mid-February 2023. We're only going to take the cards that fl fly out on their own. <clears throat> we're not going to force anything. We start with the Empress card, which is beautiful. This is all about abundance. This is about growing something. So growing something from what was at one point really small and it grows and it grows and it's in believing in it, but it looks really positive. So we have two cards that flew out together here, the King of Swords along with the Eight of Swords. This is about taking control of something that made you feel a little stuck at one point. The Eight of Swords is an illusion. Being stuck is an illusion. This character can take off her blindfold, take off those ropes at any point. And this King of Swords, he means business. He is no bullshit. So he looks at things logistically and practically. What that means for you, Capricorn, is by looking at the facts and considering how much you've been through and how seasoned you are at this, that's how you get yourself unstuck. That's how you take the blindfold off, so to speak, and you realize the way forward. And you can step out from between all of those swords. But it's really, it's, it's pulling up. You know, I love the, for Capricorns, they can they can understand that. They can wrap their minds around stepping away from the emotions of a situation, looking at the logical, practical side of a situation. So that's looking great for you. What else? For career and finances for my Capricorns. We have two of cups flying out upside down. So this could be a partnership that you maybe are at odds with at, at this point. At, at some point it worked really, really well, but maybe it's just maybe a disagreement or a falling out. But either way, you're coming out um, <laughs> looking really good. Nine of Cups is one of the happiest cards in the deck. So this could be because you're no longer working in a partnership that now is not benefiting you. It's going to be a different story for all of you. So I'm just going to keep on reading the general energy. What Tell me more about this abundance, this abundant energy of the... Uh, Empress, we've got the lover's card. This is around a choice. So you have made a choice, I believe for a lot of you guys, it's really a choice based on practicality and not emotion about a partnership, somebody that no longer, you, you had to tweak. You had to either get out of this partnership and you're much happier for it, um, or you just had to maybe express yourself within it. Let's get some more insight on that, this partnership. Yeah, so this, something was disappointing. Something was upsetting about this partnership. And it could be that you started it out as friends, you understood each other, and you have some good memories. But for whatever reason, it just maybe it was having a hard time moving forward. Maybe somebody wasn't willing to kind of expand or grow. Maybe um, they weren't willing to invest. Um, but that has something to do with, you know, the why you had to make this decision. So Nine of Cups, you end up really, really happy. We've got the Queen of Cups here. This could be a, a water sign in your midst, but it could be your energy as well. Um, talk more about the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Magician, I think that you are. I yeah. I think that you are manifesting a new partner, at least one that's more understanding. And I think that um, that person is has already either arrived, or um, it could be that your old this this two of cups falling out with that partner. It could be that they come around. Yeah, and it could be that you already know them. It could be that they are familiar with you and they know how you work and you trust them more. And I think that's one at the heart of what's making you so happy. Here we have the Emperor card, Aries energy, which is boss energy, taking control of a situation. 
So advice for my Capricorns. Advice for my Capricorns and finances, career for 2023, mid-February 2023 for my Capricorns. Yep, this is a new journey. This is totally new. With, I think, somebody that you trust, you're manifesting. And I think believing in yourself, you can pat yourself on the back, which is Nine of Cups completely. That's why he looks so satisfied and happy. He's, there's a little bit of pride in how they conducted themselves and the choices that they made. And we have this Eight of Swords. What about the Eight of Swords? Again, uh-huh. So I think you're going to find new stability. There is more information coming. There's a realization. It's either a realization, an epiphany, or a message coming for you. And it's something to do with that old stuck feeling, right? That Eight of Swords. So, you know, swords rule over information and communication. And we have that, remember, who got you out of the Eight of Swords, that stuck feeling before, was the practical energy of this, the King of Swords. Now, that is somebody who's really intelligent. They can be an air sign, but it could be you taking on that energy. Um, anyway, so I think that you get more information that helps you with whatever it was that was giving you that illusion of being stuck. We have stability or celebrations coming. You could be getting um you could be getting an invitation to celebrate something. But the four of wands really talks about stability. You know, it's like the four represents four legs of a chair, for instance, and a chair is not gonna stay standing upright with three legs. Um we have the strength card. Anything else? I'm gonna make sure these are upright. Um for advice, career advice. Love advice, excuse me, financial advice for Capricorn. So being open to any messages coming in, whether it's internal and it's an epiphany or a message flying in on a text or an email, it's going to help you get a very broad vision of the future and you can start to plan. So what do you need to learn? How do you need to grow? With the, the Page of Pentacles, it's the willingness to learn and grow, get over a learning curve. But this comes out with the King of Wands. And so you're going to see the broad picture um, excuse me, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So you're going to, this is all about strategy, baby. Like this is all strategy and vision with a two of wands. You're going to start getting a, a very broad picture of what you need to do to move forward, which is really cool because to remind you, this is a new journey. So being open to new information, new influences and um, learning is really, really good. Um, so that looks cool. All right. So I'm going to gather these up. We're going to do the love reading, give the cards another shuffle. In the meantime, hit that like button if this is resonating. Collaborate with my energies. All right, so love for Capricorn. Love, mid-February. Capricorn love, mid-February, 2023. What do we got? Oh, beautiful, the temperance card. This is Sagittarian energy. This is alchemy. This is transformation. It requires balance, though. So it's a reminder to balance ourselves in the, in the material world, and it helps balance us and find our balance in our spiritual world. Um, okay, so it's pretty deep. Love for Capricorns, love for Capricorns, love for Capricorns. There was a choice that I think you felt you needed to make. It felt, you're, I think it came, it was a difficult choice. Um, you're coming out of that time for Capricorns, the cards are super withholding. Love for Capricorns. Mid-February. Ah. I think somebody's making this choice easy on you. You've got this king, this knight of cups coming forward. This could be somebody familiar, somebody from your past. This could be somebody who is romantic, who's a charmer, the one that gets away. Um, they could be on the creative side, but maybe a little elusive. And I think that I, you've put a lot of energy into trying to understand it, under, like think your way around navigating this relationship. It'll be different for all of you guys. And I'm going to try to give you a reading broad enough to 
um, connect with all the singles out there as well as those who are in couples. But there is a harsh ending. So it's, it's, it feels like somebody in your past that you ended things with, it kind of exhausted you. You put a lot of energy into them, even if on the outside it didn't always look like it on the inside. So you might be getting, there's a transformation here and there's perspective gotten. Um, I think that you, the perspective is looking in hindsight at that energy you put into it. I feel like they might be coming forward really boldly, confidently. I think it could be to get closure, um, but they have an offer. They have something they want you to know with the ace of, um, with the ace of, uh, ones along with the knight of cups, that could be, they just want to kind of get back in the sack with you. Um, but we have that two of cups in reverse. And so we had that in your, it doesn't have to be the same person, but we had that in your career reading where it was like, okay, you are at odds. This person I think kind of want to, wants to kiss and make up a little bit. Anything else? Yeah. They see you as the empress. They see you as somebody abundant, really attractive. The empress is the Marilyn Monroe card of the tarot deck. And so I think that they've been thinking about you. They can't get you out of their mind. And there is this transformation. It doesn't mean you have to say yes or anything, but it, it helps give you perspective and it um, balances things out. All right, so advice for our Capricorns in their love reading. We start out with a victory. Yes, I think you will feel maybe even flattered, but I think you will feel like, um, what's the word? Not justified. There's a redemption here. The Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy. I think you put a lot of work into it. And then hindsight, it's one of those things that gets you even more fired up. Because you're like, man, I really was, I was cool with them. But I think you are not going to hesitate if you feel like cutting them out. Your intuition is on point here. And you are going to be looking at everything a little bit differently. Because... And a little bit in a harsher uh, light of day. Because you got the King of Swords coming back out here to protect you again. So, I mean, you got a, you got an edge here. King of Wands again. So, yeah, you see them and you, you might see them as somebody who is not as logical, who is not, who's a little more flaky, who's a little more... And that's their vulnerability. Their charm is also their vulnerability. And you're realizing that your strength is the opposite of theirs like you have more um, integrity than they do and so I just think it's going to make you um, on a whole nother level than they are uh, just you're going to see your differences quite a bit and it's going to make you untouchable here we have it the eight of swords comes out for a third time the illusion of being stuck what about this eight of swords yeah you're leaving it you could leave any time. You were able to leave any time. This person has no hold over you, but for them to come forward, making themselves vulnerable and kind of admitting, it admits that you've been on their mind, that this has been weighing heavily on their mind. And it's kind of like, oh, so you do have some authenticity, some integrity to you. Well, now you're kind of in the control seat and you realize you don't really care about having control over them. It's more about realizing that you're not their puppet, so. That's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. Making space for good stuff. So I adore you guys. And I'll see you very soon for your new readings for March. Take good care.